Warning, this video will have some spoilers from Dark Knights, so if you don't want to be spoiled about Dark Knights, skip this video and watch something else. With all that said, enjoy this video. Peace. Yay, another- oops, sorry. Yay, another warning. So, um, just you know guys, I'm recording this at like 9pm at night, so if I sound like shit, I am sorry, um... But, yeah, I'm recording this at 9 and I'll upload it tomorrow at 8, so yeah. 5, 4, 3, 2, let's get it! Yeah! Hello and welcome to today's review. Today where we will be reviewing Hoshi Park's all new Dark Knights event. I had the pleasure of going with Hoshi Park enthusiasts and my friend Chase on opening night. And may I say for the that for a first time event, man did Hoshi outdo themselves with the theming, the mazes and scare zones. I also want to say that if anyone wants to meet me for the first time, I will be at Hoshi Park Enthusiasts Dark Nights Meetup on October the 8th. I will be at October the 8th. But with all that said, let's talk about this new event. Hoshi Park did an all new event this year, which is awesome. They have four houses and three scare zones. But the best part isn't even the houses or scare zones. The best part is how much theming there is. The skeletons and wildcat trains, like the old wildcat trains, you know what I mean. Um, and smoke everywhere. And there is a lack of scare actors, but I don't really care because um, it's a first time event, probably they couldn't get people. And also, um, I the only one that I found really were only in the houses because in the scare zones there's only like three per zone. But that's okay, because I don't really care about the actors. The two factors I really care about is the most is scale quality and theming. And once again, the theming is amazing. I mean, there's so much theming. I could go on a whole freaking rant about how much theming there is. Ah! But anyway, about that, but, any that, but anyway, enough about that. Let's talk about what's in each scare zone and maze. So starting off with mid that with midway of misery, literally nothing except they have the coolest archway ever. If you see saw my vlog, you know what I'm talking mean. And also Grant's vlog. Basically, the flamethrowers, and every so often it would go off. And watch how Grant says this low. Oh my word! Um, GP moment here, but that fire is hot. Yes, the fire is hot. It's more hot than it should be because you're not even that close to it. Like, it's about 30 feet in the air. Now, next, let's talk about the War Scare Zone, aka Darkstone's Hollow. In one word, because I'm preventing myself from going on a set ran. This kid's one only has two actors walking around, there's no watchway, it's fun as fuck, and this shit shouldn't exist. Ah, wait, I went on the way, dang it. Okay, but for real, I swear to God, like, no one, did, like, no one signed up for, to be a scare actor, because I, like, deadass only saw, like, two scare actors walking around, it was super weird. Now, the final scare zone, or valley of fear. This was actually probably the second best one because of the tree guy. Like I, I, I show a clip right here. Um, he is like dressed all in bushes and stuff, so it's pretty cool. But if you're five and planning to go down that path, you wouldn't have to worry much because I think from what I remember, I haven't been there since opening day. From what I remember, I think that's the only actor in that zone. Also, in this scare zone. 
is where you would find a haunted coal mine, which is the most famous, but not that, but not that the best. You'd know if you saw my maze ranking video. Also, strange enough, the theming isn't even in the scare zones. It's at like random places in the park. Something else to talk about is the darkness emporium because that has very, very cool shorts and stuff. I didn't buy a short because I wasn't with my mom, but I definitely will at some point. The last thing I want to talk about is that storm on the only one on train, dang it. No, okay, for real, um, I'm full of jokes today. For real, the actual last thing I want to talk about is how good the rides in the dark are. Because we all love night rides, hell yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm TPO, and I'm out. Goodbye, everyone.